Hey everyone, it's Ben with Inside Look at Packaging. In today's video, I'm going to show you my top five paper-based flow wrap films. Now there are many options when it comes to films going through a flow wrapper. If you recall or if you've seen uh, our video comparing ovenable and microwavable or PET versus polypropylene or PP films, both of those are flow wrap films or available to be put through a flow wrapper. But today specifically we are talking about paper based flow wrap films. Now a question that might be going through your head right now is what is a flow wrapper? Watch this quick clip of how a flow wrapper and specifically a horizontal flow wrapper operates. Now take note of how the film wraps around all the different wheels and bars and then goes through the machine to form the package. Now there are specific components of that flow wrapper machine that we'll cover in another video but for today just so that you have an idea of what flow wrap and when I say flow wrap what that's implying and what that means is we're just talking about the film going through all the rollers to then be sucked under and make kind of a, a pouch by a thin seal on the bottom going through and then hitting a jaw which then turns it into a pillow pouch. Now a little disclaimer on my top five list. These are in no particular order based on worst to best. These are just, they all kind of have a little bit different application and so these are my top five films that I recommend to customers and recommend to other people who are creating a package. I'm going to be focusing today on two criteria when it comes to these top films. The first one being machinability as well as efficiency on the line. And then the second being the heating performance with the product. So each one of these films um, I have put through the tests and put through the ringer on many of them and all of these stand out in those two categories and I'll discuss that with each one. Now let's jump into my first film. This film is a microwave film and it is a printed craft and now craft is kind of our brown uh, think of a grocery bag when they ask for paper or plastic that paper is kind of that brown light brown kind of woody looking that is called craft and so uh, this first film is going to be a, a flow wrap film that's white on the inside with a craft printed outside. The special thing about this film is that it's, it's a multi-layer film with a PET on the inside. And this PET helps in the first criteria that I mentioned just a moment ago. And this is machinability. Now, paper films often have a tendency if they get creased or folded going through the wrapper. As you saw, there were many different things folding and moving it and pulling it. And so if there gets any of those small things, sometimes the film will just rip straight across if it's just paper. And so adding in a plastic like PET, adding that into the middle of a couple different layers of paper and adhesive and things like that will help it so that it can fold and move, but it won't tear. And because tearing adds a lot of downtime to the line. And so machinability, this one wins out um, on the machinability standpoint. And it's very efficient when we're running it. 
Now, when it comes to cooking, this is gonna be a microwave application. So on the inside of this film, it looks just white, but there's actually different layers and you can see there's part where they have adhesive. Um, and so this is gonna be a water-based adhesive. And then there's gonna be a section here that they coat um, and that helps the food not to stick to the wrap um, when you're microwaving it. And so the, the part of this that makes it uh, perform best in the microwave uh, in contradiction to the oven is that the water-based adhesive on here. And so when you're sealing, it works great. Heat will seal this together through the, with the adhesive, but as a water-based adhesive, and you'll see that on a couple other ones as well, is that, let's go to number two. This second film is quite a bit different from the first film, but again, has great machinability as well as performance when you're heating it with the product. So this film, and I'm gonna share the link to the supplier's website uh, down below. This is an Israeli company, so from the country of Israel, that's where it's made. Um, this is a great film, um, and, and they pride themselves on being different from other companies that make very similar films uh, because they're using very thin paper on the outside, which is great because it performs much more like a PET or polypropylene on a flow wrapper but you still get that paper, kind of organic, um, kind of you know rusticy feel with the paper, as well as they do a great job with printing. And you can see on this, it's kind of shimmery on the inside, and that is because it is solid plastic on the inside and paper on the outside. So again, difference from the first one we looked at was that was a paper with an adhesive kind of sprayed or rolled onto it, and this one is just gonna be a plastic on the inside. So advantage here is that when you're forming it and it's going through the flow wrapper, it's gonna seal film to film instead of adhesive. So with that film to film, it kind of melts together. The teeth kind of add a um, texture to it so it's very strong. And the advantage there in the oven application is that when it heats up over even a longer period of time, or say it's in a warmer uh, for a longer period of time, that adhesive is not going to start evaporating, which would break your seals. So this is going to be much stronger over a longer period of time. On to film number three. This is going to be a very similar film to film number two, uh, but is a little bit different in that uh, the paper on the outside is a little bit thicker. And so with that second film, you can kind of almost see through the paper a little bit, um, which again, it, it's the efficiencies are so worth it. Um, but this film um, gives you a lot more of like a solid paper look, uh, but it still forms well. Um, and it's gonna be great for the oven because it's got that plastic on the inside. Let's go to number four. Now number four is a very special film and is not super popular um, yet in the United States, uh, but is seen a lot more in Europe. And that is due to the fact that it is ran and created in the country of Italy. And so uh, we get this shipped to us from Italy um, and, and they have now uh, kind of grown in the US and so you should be seeing this more and more. Um, but the special thing about this film is that um, for some uh, health concerns and, um, and different things, this is gluten free. And so um, the paper itself is gonna help to keep out gluten um, from your product. So if it's a gluten free product, um, this film will work great for that. Um, and we've proved that in the industry um, with a lot of different products that maybe you've seen before. Um, and so this is a great product. Again, I'm gonna share below um, the company or the supplier for this film. Um, this is Chef Pack Film. And uh, actually a cool thing about this company is they're also uh, a company who creates ovens 
that a lot of stores use. Many times in kind of, there's some convenience, but a lot of our favorite uh, coffee shop spots um, like Starbucks and things like that use a, what they call a turbo chef. Um, and this is a special high heat, kind of a fast um, oven that kind of blows hot air, you know, 500 degrees. So it's, it's very high heat. And so they created a film um, that can perform very well in this super high heat, wind blowing, uh, fast pace um, oven. And so this is their uh, proprietary uh, film. And so I, I give them a shout out um, chef pack for this film. Since it's such a high heat oven that it needs to go in, um, we're, we're not really able to put as much plastic in this film. And so um, they've, they've done a great job at formulating that um, so that it still runs fairly well. Um, and it is a little bit harder to run um, and, and no one's really perfected it yet in America. If you happen to uh, be able to run it very efficiently, um, let, let me know and reach out to Chef Pack and let them know um, as we would uh, love to have this film grow in popularity. Okay, we've gone through four different films. Let's go on to number five. Film number five is gonna be another craft film. Again, craft on the outside and then it's gonna be kind of white with a texture on the inside. The special thing about this paper is that it is insulated. And so um, between the outside layer and the inside layer, there's kind of some holes and some gaps. This allows the film, um, mostly in the microwave, that's kind of where this film um, performs best, but it, it can be put in the oven with the microwave, especially the microwave, um, with that being insulated, allowing it to kind of flex a little bit. Uh, when it's in the microwave, it pillows quite a bit, kind of like a popcorn bag where it's flat and all of a sudden things start moving on the inside and, and air starts flowing and it kind of looks like it's gonna explode. Well, this film helps so that it won't explode. It's very similar to film number one, um, but it's a little bit thinner. Um, and it does have a very thin plastic layer. I would say on the line that film number one is gonna be a little bit more reliable without ripping, um, but this is a solid option. So again, a great film and it has that ability in the microwave to, to flex a little bit. Now I've shown you my top five paper-based flow wrap films. Let me know what you think down in the comments below did one of those stand out to you? Maybe one of those work well for your application? Let me know. I'd love to chat with you about it as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find any of these videos and the content uh, valuable to you. Reach out to us um, if you have specific applications, questions, ideas for videos. Let me know. Um, we'll be happy to make those for you uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.